a helpful sea captain. Even friendly ghosts can scare people. At Al's Head Lighthouse in Maine, a sea captain's ghost is said to watch over the property. His footprints are often spotted in the snow, and the lighthouse's brass fixtures are always a bit shinier after his appearance. The first sighting happened in the mid-1980s, when Andy German, whom, at that time, was the Coast Guard lighthouse keeper. One night, Andy went outside and gathered some building materials. Later, Andy's wife, Denise, thought that she felt him getting back into bed, but when she turned over, she saw an outline of an invisible person under the sheets. The next day, Andy told Denise that he had seen a cloud of smoke floating into the bedroom, just before the ghost of sighting. The Graham family took over the owl's head in 1987. The three-year-old daughter, Claire, moved into the room where the most ghostly activity had always taken place. Claire soon developed an imaginary friend. She described him as an old sea captain who had a beard and wore a blue sea coat and a sailor's cap. One night, Claire's imagination became all too real when she burst into her parents' room yelling, Fogs are rolling in! Time to put the fog horn on! Claire said she had gotten the message from her sea captain friend. The Gramps finally got the message too. They left the lighthouse just after two years. Today, Al's Head is also known as one of the top 10 haunted lighthouses in the world.